Hi, my name is Tyler, aka Thrifts and Tangles. So back in, I think it was in May, I went to the Pasadena Showcase House in California and this showcase house was amazing. Basically what they do is they hire 20 plus designers. I think it's like a lottery system on how they're able to get into this house, but it was an $18 million house that each designer was able to design their own room of the house and they have like before and after pictures to show what the room looked like before and after they totally redesigned the house some places like knocked down walls some designers totally reconstructed the house but like every designer had their own room but i'm really into home decor and i was so inspired by some of the design elements that were in this house and first of all the house was beautiful if you're ever in pasadena i think they do this once a year definitely check it out because it was so much fun i actually went twice i went with my husband and his parents and then i went with my mom for mother's day and like it was just such a good time they have like restaurants on the property and you can shop on the property and like there's so many like little things to do it's like a fun day activity they have concerts at night but anyways back to the video i was very inspired when it came to home decor after visiting this house because there were so many instances where I was like, oh my gosh, like this is something that I can find at the thrift store and incorporate in my own house. So I thought it'd be fun to maybe show you some of the different rooms that I found inspiration from, show you some of the items that you're able to thrift to kind of match this design. So I think the game plan will be, I will show you like some of the different designs and then maybe we'll go to the thrift store and see what we can find that kind of match those designs. Does that sound good? Good. Okay. Let's get into this. First, when you walk up to the house, it has like a grand entryway. It's so beautiful, but like the entrance, it was like a little entryway table, but the element I saw throughout the house that specifically started in the entryway, they had so many stacks of books, like throughout different areas. They had stacks of books in the study area. They had it on the entryway. They had books displayed in different creative ways. So I was like, books in general are something you can always find at the thrift store for usually a really good price, but they had like cookbooks on display, just fun like coffee table books on display, like on a little like stand, which I thought was really unique, but you can't go wrong with the three stacked books. You can do more modern style books, you can do vintage style books, but grouping books together in threes, I don't know why, but like in design, I guess three is a magic number. Putting things together in threes just looks aesthetically pleasing is what I hear people say, I guess. I don't know, but that's what they had throughout the house. And I was so impressed by like how many different instances they had this design. I found a lot of instances up in the house for like really cool and unique vases. And if you've ever been to a thrift store, oh my goodness, they always have really cool vases for a really good price. Um, there were a lot of fresh flowers throughout the house. And if you're not into fresh flowers, you could even do fake flowers on display, which also you can thrift at the thrift store. There were so many different cool ways they displayed like really large, usually like orchids were the flowers on display, like really large orchids or like small little dried flowers, which I feel like those are like perfect for the fall, but there were so many cute little instances where I was like, okay, that's a really cute vase and that's a really pretty flower inside. So that's something that you can easily implement in your house. Okay, one thing that I thought was really fun was like, they had like a mix match trend with furniture, like fabrics, and then specifically with pillows. I feel like that's probably the more thriftable version. You can easily thrift like different textures or different patterns or at the thrift store everything's like a mix match like it's very hard to find sets at the thrift store so if you're ever in like the textile area or like the pillow area take a look there or even look at the fabric area like maybe you want to reupholster something in your house maybe instead of making everything match think about maybe getting some mix match fabrics and then like pairing those together that could be really fun i saw a lot of instances of that the next thing i saw were catch-all bowls which I feel like they have some really unique ones at the thrift store and you can get really creative. Like not everything has to be made for that purpose. Like if you just see a really cool tray or a bowl or something that could be in catch all that you could put in the entryway. Or I saw they had like a tray that they put in the bathroom and they rolled up like guest towels and put that on the tray in the bathroom with like soap and stuff. So I was like, if you ever have guests staying over the night or like even if you wanna just have like that luxury moment in your own house, I was like, that's so cool to have like a a tray to display these things another thing was i saw picture frames used in really unique ways 
So picture frames are something that you can find no problem. They had it where they had like different picture frames hung on the wall and like kind of like a mix match picture frame situation on the wall. But then they have it of course like displayed on like dressers or like just throughout the house. And if you have a lot of photos and even if you don't have a lot of photos, like you can have photos of your family displayed or at the thrift store, you can probably find really unique artwork or different prints and you can maybe take buy the piece and then change the picture frame on it because sometimes the pieces have like more basic frames but if you're more into like textured or like decorative frames you can kind of like mix and match that way yeah i thought that was so cool and a lot of them had like old kind of style vintagey looking artwork like drawings and stuff like that so that could be really fun um, to display in your home the next thing are like little statues they have so many little knickknacks at the thrift store and like you can spray paint things you can keep them as is like people get really creative but like spray paint can go a long way you can spray paint things personally like i think metallic like gold looks really nice in my place that's like my aesthetic but if your aesthetic something else spray paint it whatever color you like keep it as is but like look for little unique statues that can be displayed and then i saw some statues paired together in threes um so keep that in mind like if you want to have like a fun little moment like look for I don't know, three unique items that maybe you can group together in different ways. One thing that I saw and I was like, oh, this is fun. They had different chess sets and I don't know that I've ever seen a chess set at the thrift store, but they had some really unique chess sets. So even if you have a moment like in your living room, if you're into playing games, like you can look for game boards or just games in general at the thrift store. Chess specifically was like out on display and I was like, oh, okay, that's really fun. And it was just set up ready to play. And I have a chess set personally, but I don't have it set up ready to play. I have it closed in a box, but I was like, if I had the space, I would just have it open and ready and ready to play to kind of encourage people to use it. Cause it's not kind of one of those things where it's like out of sight, out of mind, but if it's out there in the open, people are gonna play and that's like, it's fun, encouraging group activity within the home. Okay, some Spitfire little things that I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do a quick like, some things that I thought were cool that you might be able to thrift, maybe not. They had this really cool textured pin that had like a feather on it and they had the window open. It was like blowing in the wind. I was like, this is such a nice moment. I've never looked for pins at the thrift store, but if you just find like little unique things, like different textures or anything, I don't know, something fun like that. Look for that at the thrift store. Tassels were um, draped around like the door knobs and it was just like really, really nice, really fancy. I was like, this is cute. I also really like, they have like napkin holders, which I've never really been into napkin holders myself, but like all of these things you can find at the thrift store. And then I'm looking at my phone. If you're like, what is she looking at? I'm looking down, I'm looking at my phone. Wood blocks, they had like different things in the kitchen where they had like a giant wood block, which I was like, I mean, you could literally like get a wood block outside, but I don't know how, I don't know how people like make it so the wood is like safe to use at home. I don't even know what that process is called. <laughs> but like wood blocks you can probably find the last thing I'm going to mention that I thought was really cute and unique was like again if you have guests in the bathroom they had it where they had like a little toilet paper tied with a bow and I was like that is such a cute little moment and if you just save like gift wrap from the holidays you can you probably have a bow in your house like a ribbon that's what it was and you can always thrift ribbons too but I was like this is so cute yeah those were some of the things where I was like okay those are really cute unique pieces so now that we went over kind of like the inspiration i think it'll be fun to go to the thrift store and kind of see if we can find these items like how practical is it to actually thrift these items in your home i'll see you tomorrow and we're going to thrift some of these home decor items all right i'll see you then i was planning to go to goodwill to look for these items just because goodwill has really great pricing on home goods but i ended up going to the salvation army antique store I'm so glad I came here because they had so many of the trends, but the way the store works, it feels like a more boutique style, so the prices are a little high. They're still pretty reasonable, but if you were to go to like less curated store, you can definitely find prices probably like much cheaper, but I was so shocked by how many of the items they had. So first to start with, I found these books and the books actually were a really good price. The books were like $1.99, maybe $2.99, depending on what book you got. And they just had a great selection. And like we saw at the showcase house, they had it where you could just stack the books in different areas of the house. And so a little trick that I've learned is if you don't love the book cover, if it has a sleeve on it, take it off. And underneath there's probably a gorgeous book that will match your color scheme if you're doing the stacking. The next thing I was so surprised they had so many of were they had a ton of orchids. The orchids were one of the things that stood out the most at the showcase house to me. Like they were just so beautiful and literally they just had so many at the thrift store. So if you don't want to do a real orchid and worry about those dying, you can definitely try thrifting them. Another thing is you could just thrift a really nice vase. 
of course the thrift stores always have a ton of vases that's also an option and then you could just go to like whole foods they sell orchids for a pretty good price and they are beautiful so that's another thing you can do if you want to incorporate this home trend in your house the next thing is sculptures let me tell you i was shocked to even see that they had this sculpture because one of the kids rooms in the showcase house was like very like airplane themed and all these things so i found this giant airplane sculpture that was just beautiful i also found these cute glasses that were quite heavy i was like do i need these they were so cute and like i could just see them being on top of a stack of books um, and styled that way like on someone's desk but yeah these were adorable of course they have the mixed match couches mixed match pillows if you want to do that mixed match design that we saw at the showcase house i mean the thrift store is full of like random things that do not go together but if you can find some kind of like color scheme that works together or make a pinterest board and figure out like what combinations look good even maybe go on canva and put patterns together you can maybe keep an eye out for those items at the thrift store that way you're not just like doing a free-for-all looking at random patterns like at least you can have a color scheme in mind but yeah they had so many couches so many pillows just a great selection and then thrift stores always have a ton of trays whatever your style is they have like basket tight trays they have metal trays they have like just unique trays so this thrift store did not disappoint if you want quality items like pre-picked for you definitely check out like local antique stores or little boutiques in your areas because they're going to make sure that the items are more on the trendy side or just more like in style but if you are into digging let me tell you the options are endless if you go to a local thrift store or even if you go to like a flea market or a garage sale you can find all these goods if you ever are into like doing a home redesign or like updating like a home makeover updating a room or something consider checking out your local thrift store first. Maybe go to Pinterest for inspiration. If you have showcase houses in your area, maybe go to a showcase house, but like you could look at different designers on Instagram, but like anytime you see different moments or like styling things that are like really interesting, ask yourself, can I thrift this? Because not only will you find really unique pieces that are probably really great quality, you'll find them for a fraction of the price. I had so much fun filming this video. Let me know in the comments below which home decor, like inspiration, you like the most and which one you might implement in your home maybe for the fall and yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time Bye.